Hello everyone, uh, this is Dr. Ibrahim again. I welcome you back to the course that we are doing is called Certificate of Readiness to Enter Specialty Training, a Comprehensive Guide for IMGs. In this course, we are going to discuss, we are discussing about uh, how a, an IMG who starts uh, in the NHS can work their way towards getting a crest form signed so that they can apply uh, for an ST1 or CT1 level of the training of their chosen specialty. So we have already discussed about uh, um, an A-portfolio and in that uh, previous lesson we have um, uh, given a clue about uh, what a supervised learning event is. Uh, we're going to discuss at length in this lesson. Uh, when I started working in the NHS, uh, it was it was a steep learning curve for me uh, to understand what a supervised learning event was. And uh, one of the consultants was kind enough uh, to walk me through this. And uh, I think I'm uh, just returning the favor uh, to, <laughs> by spreading what I learned from him and what direction I got from him to other, other fellow IMGs. So a supervised learning event uh, uh, there are four types uh, of supervised learning event in a foundation doctor's career uh, where these are not tests. These are um, interaction between the trainer and a doctor uh, where uh, instantly you learn something from the work that you did and uh, you get feedback from the trainer what could have done differently or what could have done better. So as you can see, when you are a doctor, you are not actually actively sitting in front of the book and learning like a medical student. You are learning by working. And these learning events or SLEs actually validating what you're learning by working. Say you saw a patient with breathlessness or uh, say you, you, are, you are seeing a patient with breathlessness. So you have read extensively about how to take history, from the breathlessness patient, how to do what examinations to do. Uh, you have read it and you have taken exams and you have passed your medical college. But to be actually doing it and doing it right is requires practice and requires guidance. And that is what an SLE is about. So all the things that you are going to do or you are doing on a patient itself um, is, is going to be uh, put on in a form, in a discussion, in a structured way. Uh, the consultant uh, will will give their feedback and, and their suggestion about what went well and what could have done uh, better. So there are four types um, which can be divided into two basic types. One which happens directly with the patient, in front of the patient, with the trainer and you, uh, to, uh, like all three together in one room. And the other ones which can be happening away from the patient after you saw a patient and just discussion and all the other things. Uh, so let's jump into uh, the whole uh, topic here. As you can see, I have opened an UK Foundation program curriculum. If you haven't gone here and read through some of it, I highly suggest you do. Uh, here is the supervised learning events. So the four I was talking about is DOPS, mini kecks, CBD, and developing the clinical teacher. So let's start from the, the first one, DOPS. What is DOPS? As you can see, uh, if you open this link here, it will open here. DOPS means direct observation of procedural skills. If you read this entire not entire, I think it's just only two page, you will understand what is it all about and what is it want. To put you uh, uh, shortly, it's actually a doctor seeing you doing a procedure. There are 15 GMC core procedures uh, an F1 must do. Uh, F2 doesn't have the core procedures, but as we have said previously, an IMG probably has not done, the, an IMG with the full GMC registration with internship back home has not done the F1 year in the UK. So, uh, the core procedures, there are some core procedures like um, a venipuncture, a cannula. If you just Google GMC F1 core procedures, you will find the all 15 one. And uh, to be honest, you can you can get it get it done in even in your F2 just to see uh, or show that you can do a procedure. Maybe you have done hundreds and hundreds of cannulas in your life. And maybe for some doctors I've worked with, they can even do cannulas their eyes closed. But that's not the purpose that you can do it. The purpose is that a consultant saw you how to do it and he is happy or she is happy that you can do it. So it's it's all about documentation. It's all about evidence and, and proof. 
Um, yes, you have done ABGs in your life several times, but uh, do you have a documentary evidence of that that you can do ABGs? I'm not. I'm. I'm it might sound silly. Uh, but that is how it is. If you don't have a documentary proof that someone has seen you do it, uh, then how can you show it to anybody when you're applying uh, for a training job or anything? So, so DOPS is a direct observation of procedural skills. These are all procedures that you can uh, do and, and the consultant will have to, or whoever is supervising you, it doesn't always have to be a consultant. It could be um, anybody who is more senior than an F2 doctor. So it could be a registrar who is seeing you how um, to do an, um, the arterial blood gas sample. Uh, and, and these are the things should focus on. If you just give a small read through this, this portion, you will know what DOPS is. Then the next is mini kex which is called uh, a mini clinical evaluation exercise so this is also one of the thing that the, the patient is present and the trainer is present and you are present so what could be a mini clinical evaluation exercise i i i talk about the one that i did recently it was my my consultant was present and i had to discuss um anticoagulation options with the patient which we found uh, uh newly to be diagnosed of af and his um, uh, risk score was high, and we are we're considering starting with an anticoagulation to prevent uh, stroke. And as it is a big thing to to jump into, and also what other uh, options of different options of anticoagulations he has, a warfarin or any other DOAX. Um, so that was a mini clinical evaluation exercise that I did the discussion. It could be a mini clinical evaluation exercise uh, like examination. Just uh, you do uh, a chest examination of a patient. Um, you have to take a bit of history. You have to take a bit of the whole other things. Or it could be uh, a breast examination. It could be chest examination. So all this can be put as a mini clinical evaluation exercise. So these are the trainer being there in front of the patient uh, telling you how to do this um, clinical evaluation. Um, and the next one is CBD case based discussion. This does not have to be uh, a patient, should not be. I mean, it, it obviously doesn't have to be done in front of the patient. So, you have seen a, uh, um, I think if you have looked at my previous um, uh, lesson about horse report portfolio, I have shown a case based discussion. I did one of the consultants, Dr. Syed, uh, that uh, we talked about the patients with acute exacerbation of asthma. So I saw this patient, I managed this patient, we talked about the, uh, with the registrar uh, whenever it happened, but later on I went to doctor, uh, the, the consultant, and, and, and told him that I have seen a patient like this, can we do a CBD on this? So it could be done that this is the consultant actually you went to discuss this patient uh, for uh, uh, managing this patient later on. So the consultant would be like, okay, let's manage this patient first, and then we will discuss further. And you can send me a ticket for a CBD. So, so this is what obviously you have you 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 have gone to the consultant for a real consultation. You have seen a patient. The whole thing has turned into a supervised learning event. So the patient got treatment for acute asthma, and I got a CBD for acute asthma. So this is how this whole SLEs uh, are running. So the last one thing is developing the clinical teacher. It's all about the teaching experience. So um, you can send a, an SLE to uh, one of this SLE to one of the consultant who has seen you giving teaching um, in, in, in the teaching session. Uh, so it, it, this this is there there are, there are various criteria as you can see here. Like you know what is uh, how prepared you were. What teaching did you give? What does the subject knowledge and ability to answer the questions? What are the interaction with the group? So this is all about uh, being a clinical teacher. It could be that you are teaching in a departmental teaching, or uh, it just could be that um, um, mostly it, it is a formal way of getting this SLE signed. This is not something that informally you can get it signed from the consultant. Like, hey, look, um, I, I'm teaching these medical students in the ward. Can you just observe me from behind? No, I mean it doesn't work like that. So it has to be say you are doing a formal teaching session, and the consultant is present there. The consultant will give you a feedback on the feedback form. You can also ask the consultant, can I send you a developing clinical teacher um, SLE uh, following this teaching that I did? So you can just go to your portfolio, uh, fill the form accordingly, and send the ticket to him.
So these are the SLAs uh, that uh, are done and these are very important because all the SLAs that you do can be mapped or proven or, or given as an evidence that you have achieved that. So one SLA can be, I think, can be given to at least five points in your um, uh, uh, curriculum uh, competencies, like FPCs that we discussed about. So one uh, point can actually, the clinical care, uh, it can involve uh, interaction with the patient, it can involve taking history, it can involve breaking bad news, it can involve doing uh, and uh, or ordering necessary investigations. So if you do one or, or two or four CBDs and, and, and be, be tricky or be uh, intelligent to involve a lot of things in the CBDs, you can actually map your competencies mm, accordingly. So these are the supervised learning events. Uh, in the next uh, lesson, we're going to discuss about how can you find the opportunities um, to do these uh, learning events and um, uh, or, or what, can, uh, uh, what can you do to get those done and what are the challenges to get those done as well. Uh, so please stick with us and uh, uh, I'll see you soon. Thank you.